A recent study has confirmed the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a colossal cosmic structure spanning 10 to 15 billion light years. Detected via gamma ray bursts, it challenges the idea that the universe is uniform at large scales. First proposed in 2013, new data has expanded its known size and brought parts of it closer to Earth, sparking renewed scientific interest. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall isn't a solid structure, but a vast three-dimensional distribution of galaxies and galaxy clusters across a large span of the observable universe. Its existence was first proposed after a 2013 study identified an unusually high concentration of gamma-ray bursts, brief ultra-energetic events associated with dying stars or neutron star mergers in a specific region of the sky. Astronomers use GRBs as stand-ins for galaxy locations. Since these events are bright enough to be seen across billions of light years, they offer insight into regions that are otherwise difficult to map with optical telescopes. The original analysis based on 283 GRBs showed a clustering in a region covering parts of the Hercules and Corona Borealis constellations. This suggested a structure approximately 10 billion light years wide. More recently, a follow-up study incorporating 542 GRBs expanded that estimate to up to 15 billion light years spanning redshifts from approximately Z equals 0.3 to 2.4. The updated data also suggests that portions of the structure are much closer than previously believed. To test whether this apparent clustering was real or a statistical fluke, researchers used several validation methods, including nearest neighbor and bootstrap resampling analyses. These techniques evaluate whether a group of data points is unusually concentrated compared to what you'd expect in a random distribution. The results pointed to a statistically significant overdensity of GRBs in that region, one that seems unlikely to occur by chance alone. The nature of the structure remains under investigation. It could be a loose collection of connected superclusters or possibly something more complex. Either way, it stands out because it dwarfs all previously known cosmic structures. At the heart of this discovery lies a conflict with the cosmological principle, a foundational assumption in modern cosmology. This principle states that the universe should be homogeneous and isotropic on large scales. In practice, that means if you zoom out far enough, usually beyond about 1.2 billion light years, matter should be evenly distributed in all directions. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall exceeds that scale by nearly an order of magnitude. If confirmed, it could mean that our assumptions about large scale structure formation are incomplete or incorrect. Current cosmological models assume that early density fluctuations, enhanced by a rapid expansion called inflation, eventually formed galaxies and clusters. These fluctuations were thought to be relatively small and random. A structure this size could suggest stronger than expected initial fluctuations, or even regional differences in inflationary behavior ideas that aren't ruled out but aren't part of the mainstream model either. Some physicists have proposed that the Great Wall might represent a statistical outlier, an extremely rare, but still possible, arrangement of matter under known physical laws. Others argue that its scale pushes the limits of plausibility, implying that dark matter distribution or cosmic variants may behave differently than expected on extreme scales. There's also the question of measurement methods. Because GRBs are rare 
and observed unevenly across the sky. Some believe that the clustering could be a sampling artifact, a result of where telescopes have looked, not what's actually there. That concern is valid, and it underscores the need for more uniform data. Still, the repeated pattern in independent data sets makes it harder to ignore. If this anomaly is confirmed with more consistent observations, it may prompt a rethinking of inflation parameters, or even revisions to models explaining how structure emerged after the Big Bang. The next step is to improve both the quantity and quality of GRB data. Current instruments like SWIFT, Fermi, and Integral have helped build the GRB catalog, but their observational coverage is not uniform across the sky. This means some areas are overrepresented, while others are sparsely sampled, introducing potential bias into large-scale structure studies. To address this, the European Space Agency is preparing to launch Theseus, Transient High Energy Sky and Early Universe Surveyor. This mission will be equipped to detect fainter and more distant GRBs, with a more even coverage of the sky. By dramatically increasing the number of GRBs recorded, especially at high redshifts, it could allow for a more accurate map of cosmic structure on the largest scales. In parallel, researchers are looking at cross-correlation techniques using independent data sources. By comparing GRB clustering with quasar distributions, galaxy surveys, and gravitational lensing maps, scientists can determine whether the patterns are unique to GRBs or reflect actual matter distribution. Another promising approach is examining anisotropy in cosmic microwave background data. If the universe had directional irregularities during inflation, those could manifest in both background radiation and large-scale structure. The Great Wall might be a sign of such early asymmetry. There's also theoretical work ahead. If the structure is real, cosmologists may revisit scenarios like non-Gaussian inflation, cosmic strings, or modified gravity models. These aren't mainstream yet, but anomalous structures like this motivate exploring them further. Importantly, skepticism remains a healthy part of the process. Not all researchers are convinced that the Great Wall is a real structure. Until we have better data and more uniform coverage, caution is justified. However, dismissing it outright would be premature. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall challenges the idea of a uniform universe. While not yet fully confirmed, gamma-ray burst patterns make it hard to ignore. Upcoming missions like Theseus will help verify its reality. Whether it's real or not, it's a crucial test, one that could reshape our understanding or refine how we explore the cosmos. Mm -hmm.